Yo, yo, yo! Welcome to GoFigureNews.com. I am TJ. I will be your host as we review some of our latest acquisitions. It is the very end of 2016, and boy, oh girl, has this been a massive year of controversy, strangeness, and who knows what the future holds for any of us. I was super curious about the work from Has No Talent. Now, what I first saw was this. And what you see right here before your eyes is a collaboration between Has No Talent and Tokyo Toy Bastid. That's right. This is their mishmash mashup kit bash bootleg of a figure out of the, the distant, distant Star Wars Unisphere. After having seen Rogue One, which, by the way, if you haven't seen it, ladies and gents, get on down to your theater. It is absolutely the best in modern times. This is my first exposure to both Toy Tokyo Bastard and Has No Talent, and I have to say that they have some talent. This is a super shiny Stormtrooper blended with a Darth Vader head. And it comes with some almost dildo-y looking weaponry. Uh, I'm going to say that you can take a look at the card on the back. And uh, as you can see, it, the card is professionally done. It is um, done to these really, really nice kind of purpley hues. This is for nerds only, as it states. I think that the card here, so thin in comparison with some of the other makers out there, that I think they put all their energy and effort into the figure itself, because the figure is super mega clean. They probably take directly from some of the figures that they find out there in... Uh, you know, junk shops and flea markets and yard sales, and then they build their own beast accordingly. So I give them two thumbs up for what they've got going on with the figure, because it's looking really, really super clean, crisp, and, uh, and quite detailed. No paint, however. It's basically just a, a silver and a matte black plastic with some pink tools. That is that for their collaboration right here. Oh, by the way, Has No Talent, the only place that I could find them online was actually on eBay. And I think that that's what they do, is they do direct sales on eBay. Now, I fell in love with this immediately. This is Haraboba. Now, this is a great idea. I, I think that despite the fact that it has the same sort of card, super thin card issue, I want a thicker, heavier card. Honestly, like when I have these figures, because sometimes I'm moving them from box to box, and even though s some of them have bubble wrap and around them, this would get bent incredibly easy. Fortunately, it came perfectly, so I, I'm not complaining about the delivery. I'm just um, concerned about the future protection of the figure in this card. Now, the plastic uh, bubble sleeve here is also done really, really nicely and very clean to the card. As you can see, it's got lots of the uh, gummy bears, Haribo gummy bears, and the figure is just a gorgeous two-tone purple Boba Fett with a green and a red fire blaster. Now, I'm excited about that because it plays on the Haribu gummy bear product directly, and the back is just pretty much gummy bears. Um, but within the gummy bears, you can slightly see the uh, f the Boba Fett symbol. It's kind of kind of uh, gummy bears on top of gummy bears with a sort of a cutout. So here we have Haraboba. Now I give them big props for the concept behind this. This is what I'm really excited about. This is The Last Supper with Boba. <laughs> and he actually doesn't make it to the table, or does he? Oh no, he's, he's behind the on the card, but behind the figure himself. So they placed him correctly at the table. 
So I love the setup. I love the artwork. The one thing that I think is a little weak is the back has basically the exact same image. There's nothing different. There's nothing playing on anything. Now, when you have a complete full color card on both sides, I would think that you'd want to have maybe a slightly shifted image. Now maybe there are secret like little additions that I can't see, but I love that they have George Lucas at the table, they've got Lando at the table, they've got Chewbacca, they've got Han, they've got Luke at playing Jesus. Um, there's also some mysterious guy behind Boba Fett and I don't know who that is. That could be anybody. That could be actually one of the 12 apostles. Who knows? For all you crazies out there that collect these wonderful things, let me tell you, this this one is the one to get. It does suffer also from the super thin card, so that's the only thing I would say to bump up in the new year is make these cards a little bit heavier and then you'll get the due respect. So one thing also to mention is that on this figure, he comes with a silver and gold projectile. And then from his uh, backpack, he's got a red sort of um, blaster. And I'm not taking this out of the car, but I think it might actually work. I think you might be able to, maybe there's a spring in there where you can shoot the little um, object or, or eject it to put in one of these others. So, and I'm loving the chrome. It's very brassy, very in your face. They were very sweet to actually add a couple things for Go Figure News. So, they have given us one of their Smarties. Now, this is, of course, R2D2 and in a red color playing on candies. Now, they have these actually for sale now, so you can have a look out for them. And then here is R2 in an orange with a, with a yellow barrel. So these are quite cute and they have moving parts so the, the arms or legs actually move. And this is a uh, removable um, lightsaber stick, what have you. For all you uh, R2-D2 uh, nerds out there, you probably know. And this one comes with an orange. And each of them also comes with a crud load of stickers. There were like a bunch of stickers in the package. So you can share them with your friends. They come with those kind of uh, historical, hysterical little coins, the commemorative coins. You might remember these from the uh, original Kenner packages. So here's the, the idea of a play on some of the stickers here. You've got Monka playing on Wonka, and you've got sort of this prescription sticker has no talent i love the fact that that it has no talent i mean for me that the fact that they are that self-effacing and are able to just make fun of themselves kind of talks about you know the quality and you know the fact that these are um reproductions of reproductions and that they have done their own due diligence with their version of uh, a futuristic plastic junk toy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is what I have been waiting for. Now, I was so completely surprised at the scale of this super secret fun club in the house. And this is from Hawkins Middle Audiovisual Club, of course, Dustin. There was a very limited edition of these available online for 40 bucks the other night, and they sold out within five minutes. I mean, they were here and there gone. And I am so surprised at the scale here. Here's my hand, and here is the back card. I love 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 me some stranger things and of course dustin was one of the standout characters him and eleven the other characters sort of all play these supporting roles as friends now the figure itself doesn't really have much of a resemblance except for maybe the clothing uh, but it's so small that the handwork on this little resin figure is 
hats off to the the detail work here on the little um, bad Christmas sweater with the reindeer and uh, but what the the series is trying to do is put together this sort of like play on really old-timey vintage figures from way 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 yesteryear not necessarily in this scale but in larger scale porcelain dolls things that kind of like play on a little bit of history there's a few different meta tonalities within here and he comes with this little bubble of extra items and i love that there's an x-men comic in there two-sided and it's printed on both sides I inspected it there's his little baseball cap um, trucker cap and I don't think it would actually go on his head it might just plop on top of the head but it looks like it might be from like a like a, a Lego styled cap and then there's a little tiny chocolate pudding snack pack now of course that chocolate pudding made itself you know present in the series but also in the walking dead am i right am i wrong i'm not sure maybe both weren't hunts maybe one of them was acme sort of styled but anyway here's the back of the card and it gives you a nice sort of illustrative graphic um very original and as you look at the front i'll read you a little bit of the back left to right dustin henderson mike wheeler lucas sinclair and Mr. Clark, try out the school's new shortwave radio. Do you eat kangaroos for breakfast? Was the inaugural question asked. Uh, looking forward to series two of Stranger Things. This is a completely adorable carded figure. And we wish you a merry, happy, joyous season all. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time right here on Go Figure News. Over and out. Mm -hmm.